If you will notice, on the top of the screen in the video, you're going to see numerous headlines displayed that prove the Vatican is indeed pushing Sunday sacredness worldwide, and talk of religious laws have escalated in many nations around the world, including the USA. As I scroll through these headlines, I want to read something from the book Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5. All Seventh-day Adventists, as well as many outside the SDA Church, not only declare this book contains prophetic utterance, they also declare the woman that wrote it to be an end-time prophet of God. And then I'm going to play a clip from another video I made in November of last year of Seventh-day Adventist President Ted Wilson. Once you hear what I read from Testimonies Volume 5 and then hear what Ted Wilson says, some of you may finally begin to see what the true obedient remnant people of God have been warning people about for decades. That being said, notice what it says in Testimonies Volume 5, page 77. The patience of God has an object, but you are defeating it. He is allowing a state of things to come that you would fain see counteracted by and by, but it will be too late. God commanded Elijah to anoint the cruel and deceitful Hazael, king over Syria, that he might be a scourge to idolatrous Israel. Who knows whether God will not give you up to the deceptions you love? Who knows but that the preachers who are faithful firm and true, may be the last who shall offer the gospel of peace to our unthankful churches. It may be that the destroyers are already training under the hand of Satan and only wait the departure of a few more standard bearers to take their places. And with the voice of the false prophet cry, peace, peace, when the Lord hath not spoken peace. I seldom weep, but now I find my eyes blinded with tears. They are falling upon my paper as I write. It may be that ere long all prophesyings among us will be at an end, and the voice which has stirred the people may no longer disturb their carnal slumbers. When God shall work his strange work on the earth, when holy hands bear the ark no longer, woe will be upon the people. Oh, that thou hadst known, even thou, in this day, the things that belong unto thy peace. O oh, that our people may, as did Nineveh, repent with all their might and believe with all their heart that God may turn away his fierce anger from them. Now check this out. Understand that, yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. Ted Wilson or any pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist Church cannot see what the obedient people of God have been declaring and proving to be in the pipeline for many years, because all SDA leaders have joined hands with the first and second beast of Revelation to create an image of the beast in Rome. And therefore, all prophesyings have ended for the SDA Church, because the only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. Thank you for watching. God bless.